Hey guys, what's up? You're watching T-Bones Tech, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to take pictures with a telephoto zoom lens. Now, the telephoto zoom lens that I'm using in this video isn't a L telephoto zoom lens or anything expensive at all. It's just a 75 to 300 millimeter f4 to f5.6 telephoto zoom lens. Now, this is the ones that most of you are going to be using, and unfortunately, because it's the cheapest, it does have very small aperture, and it does not have image stabilization. Alright, so first off, take your camera off of automatic mode or off of sports mode or whatever automatic settings that you have on your DSLR, take it right off of there and put it into M mode or manual mode that's going to completely change the way you take pictures. Now personally that's the only way I take pictures and that's the only way you should take pictures if you're trying to get serious about photography. Now if you don't understand shutter speed, aperture, or ISO, then you're going to have a very hard time shooting in manual mode. So what I did is I created a photography explain playlist where in about 10 minutes you're going to be able to understand every element of photography. If you're interested in that, I'm going to have an annotation right here. You can click right here, and I'm also going to have a link in the description down below for those of you on iPhones and iPads. All right, so the number one thing you need to know when using a telephoto zoom lens is you need to shoot at a faster shutter speed than your focal length. So if you're zoomed out all the way to 300 millimeters, you're going to want to shoot at least 1 300th of a second or faster shutter speed to prevent your pictures from having camera shake. If you're zoomed out all the way to 300 millimeters and shoot at 1 60th of a second, your picture is going to be very shaky and it's going to be completely blurry and it's going to look awful. You need to shoot at a faster shutter speed than your focal length. So if you're shooting with a 10 millimeter lens, you need to shoot at least one tenth of a second or faster, and faster would be one twentieth of a second or one fiftieth of a second of a shutter speed. You want to shoot at a faster shutter speed than your focal length. Now unfortunately with standard telephoto zoom lens, like the 75 to 300 millimeter lens, when you're zoomed out all the way to 300 millimeters, the fastest available aperture you have is f5.6. Now that is a very slow aperture. So what that means is you need to use a very slow shutter speed to compensate with that slow aperture. Now it all depends on what lighting that you're in. If you're outside, you really shouldn't have problems with not being able to use a fast shutter speed. But unfortunately, if you're not in good lighting or you're indoors, you're going to need to stop up your ISO. So instead of shooting at ISO 100, you might have to shoot at ISO 1600. So unfortunately, that means your images are going to be a little bit more noisy, but having a little bit of extra noise in your pictures is much more acceptable than having shaky, blurry pictures. And the last tip for using a telephoto zoom lens, always try to use a tripod or a monopod when zooming all the way out to 300 millimeters or 250 millimeters, or just when using a telephoto zoom lens in general, always try to put your camera on a monopod or on a tripod. What that's going to do is it's going to add a lot of stabilization to your pictures. So using a tripod or a monopod is going to increase the sharpness of your pictures dramatically. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give me a thumbs up down below. If you guys have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments down below. I'll do my best to answer any questions that you guys have. If you guys like these types of videos and want to see more of them in your subscription box, make sure to subscribe to my channel because then you'll be notified every single time I upload a brand new video. So again, thank you guys for watching this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one.